This video is on how to create the equation for an exponential function that goes through two points. So let's do an example. Uh, first, here though is the general equation for an exponential function. And let's use this to create an exponential function that goes through two points. For that, let's do an example. Here, uh, it, you are being asked to create the equation for an exponential function that goes through the points 1, 12 and 3, 108. So first step I'm going to do is I'm going to find this, uh, I'm going to find the ratio, which is the letter B. In general, the way I like to start off when I work with exponential functions is I like to create a table. For the values. So here you have your 1, 12 and your 3, 108. And I filled in the extra numbers 2 and 4 in between them. Okay. The B, the B is, the B or the ratio is how much do you have to multiply in order to get your next number. So if I'm at 12 here and I multiply by B, I get the number right next to the 2. I get this number right here is 12 times b and then to go from this number right here to your next number 108 i would just multiply this times b again so if you happen to have a completely filled out table you can just look at your ratio column your times what in order to find your b here we do not have a completely filled out ratio table. So what I'm going to do is this one right here. This is 12 times B or this number times B. If I take this number right here, 12 times B, and I multiply it times B again, I will get this, 108. So I know 108 is equal to 12 times B times B. Okay. Well, now I have an equation here. So let's use that equation and solve for b. So I know that 108 is equal to 12 times b times b. Let's now solve for b. So times b times b two times is b to the exponent 2 or b to the second power. So now I want to get my b by itself with no other numbers on the right. So since you have here times 12, in order to get rid of times 12, or the way some of you might think about it, the way to move the times 12 to the other side is to divide both sides by 12. Okay, and let's simplify this. <clears throat> so since we have times 12 divided by 12, they cancel each other out. Or more specifically, 12 divided by 12 just becomes 1. And so you have times, so 12 divided by 12 just becomes 1. So then you have 1 times b squared which is just b squared. On your left-hand side, 108 uh, divided by 12 is 9. OK, so now you have 9 equals b squared. You need to get rid of the exponent 2. So we're going to do the opposite of exponent 2, which is the square root. Uh, you could write the 2 in here for the square root, or you can just not. That is fine. So this is the square root of both sides. Now, normally, when you do the square root of both sides, you would get two answers. You would end up having uh, b is equal to the positive of that. or 
b is equal to the negative of that. So this is normally what happens. And the square root of 9 is 3. So you'd have b equals 3 or b equals negative 3. Now, the only thing is that since this is an exponential function, our b cannot be negative. So uh, b cannot be negative. So therefore, this one is not true. So this one right here is going to be not true because our b cannot be negative. Okay, so we have now solved for b. b is therefore positive 3. Okay, so there's your step 1. We just determined our ratio or our b. Next, step 2, we need to determine our initial value or the a. Now, if going down is times b times b, then going in the up direction would be divide b, divide b, divide b. Your initial value, or your a, is just the number that will be next to the x equals 0. So the number right here is your a value. OK? So. Since our b is equal to 3, that means this number right here is going to be 12 divide 3. And 12 divide 3 is just 4. So our, uh, our a value is 4. OK, finally. Now that we know our a value, we know our b value, we can create an equation for the exponential function that goes through these two points right here. So we just determined that our a was equal to 4 and our b was equal to 3. So there you go. This is the exponential function that goes through 1, 12 and 3, 108.